All right, so we back with another reaction video. So look, this is everybody hating on Caitlin Clark because she's the GOAT. Now, I think Caitlin Clark, as far as uh, women's college basketball, outside of like Cheryl Miller, because I never watched her play, I just heard stories. They, everybody talking about Cheryl Miller was really like that. So outside of Cheryl Miller, Caitlin Clark to me is the women's college GOAT. So we can react to WNBA players getting destroyed by Caitlin. Let's go. Willing and maybe it's more the the Kobe mentorship around me to say that she is great. Yet we saw white girl wait. In Iowa do it. Wait, 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 wait. He I said am, he only want to call it great. I am unwilling and maybe it's more the the Kobe mentorship around me to say that she is great. Yet wait, 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 wait. one more time, one more time. I'm sorry. You read, you read, read, read all that. To say that she is great yet. <laughs> that boy we tweaking. We saw a white girl in Iowa do it mm -hmm. to a bunch of black girls. Mm -hmm. Well, of course. That that yeah. made it like, oh, <laughs> that gave my respect. <laughs> they go, I ain't going to lie. They can finna cancel Undisputed. That man skipped on the what to do. He talking about, <laughs> that man said we seen a, uh, what did he say? We seen a bunch of white girls beat the black girls, and that gained my respect. That man skipped like, oh my! I wish it was Shannon. Girls, mm. well, of course. That that yeah. made it like, oh, <laughs> that gained my respect. That gained my respect. I, I hear you. The way everybody sells her all the time, it's it almost feels like she's already stamped as one of the greatest to ever do it. She is. It feels what, like she's stamped that way. I don't know about selling her. She is. <laughs> she is. That was, she is. She is. Look, hold up now. I understand people like That's one of the they don't know. Do. Hold up. Right. I don't know what else you gotta see. To... It, it feels what, like she's stamped that way. I don't know. Is. About her. She, is, she, she is. is one of the she greatest ever. Do it. Um, does Caitlyn have like, a championship to be considered one of the greats in women's no. basketball history? Yeah. Oh my god. I uh, see. This is the one thing I don't like. It's because. She went to UConn, right? Now, Brianna Stewart, she's like that. She's cold, too. Don't get it twisted now. But she went to UConn where UConn was like the powerhouse. So if Caitlin Clark went to, like, South Carolina and won chips, it don't have the same effect as her going by herself and winning a chip. <laughs> I think so. And energy behind Caitlin is going to be a game changer for a WNBA franchise. I think for that reason, right now, this year, you have to take her. From a basketball standpoint, I can make an argument for Paige. I'm taking Paige. Next question. When it comes to basketball late March, early April, the majority oh, of viewers, what are you thinking about? Men's March Madness and the NBA playoffs. Now, this year, a tad bit different, as Caitlin Clark, by far, is the biggest story in sports. In terms of hype, anticipation, just general energy. Look! The only thing Curry! In my lifetime yeah! Curry! Curry! She's like Curry! And Steph and is it Curry in 16? In my lifetime is Steph Curry in 2016. I'm not going to lie. 2016 Steph Curry was a whole different. That was a, he was different. 2016 <laughs> Steph was different. Just like 2018 Braun, different. 2016 Steph was different. As both Steph and Caitlin during those time periods transcended their sport, Nah, 2016 Steph was a different animal. Basketball. And Caitlin Clark is so box office. The end in a fever, who's she going to get drafted to? Their opening game next season already had to expand the stadium from 12,000 fans. To 20,000. I mean, She's bringing money to the WNBA. And already going to be selling out stadiums with 20,000 fans. She shot that I mean, like. look at that LSU <laughs> Iowa game. A whopping. 12.3 million for a women's college basketball for women's game. college basketball game. 12.3 million views. Finals games the past four years. 14.2 million. I mean, it's on par, if not better, than some of those series. I mean, look at. She was averaging better numbers than the WNBA Finals the last four years. What are we talking about? Yeah, she's great. The most watched game of that series. 8.2 million man. viewers. Four million less than Caitlin Clark versus LSU. Caitlin Clark was averaging these numbers in college, in the man. Finals with Giannis. And just this, this year alone. Nicole Jokic, the best player in the world. The most watched game that. Wait, this is for the NBA Finals? 
series. Oh, no, blah, 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 blah. I thought that was WBA fun. 2023. Nicole Jokic, the best player in the world. The most watched game in that series. She getting more views than the NBA Finals. The phenomenon of Caitlin Clark cannot be downplayed, discredited, or tossed to the side. Women's college basketball right now is the hottest thing in all of sports. It Lane. is. I mean, it's coming from all angles. Yeah. Retired players, the hate players, is crazy. men, women. The NBA, hate is crazy. It doesn't really matter. Caitlin Clark is getting it from all angles from everyone in the media. And looking at someone like Jay Williams, Brandon Stewart. Saying nah, the Caitlin Jay Clark Williams one is out of pocket. Isn't a great college player in the upper tier college players. I'm not going to lie. I don't blame so much Brianna Stewart because she was like, she actually, look, she played in the what's called, she feels like, yeah, you at least got to win with Chip. Now, she, she might have played on a stacked team, like where college basketball, because college basketball is completely different today than it was then. Then UConn was going to win. Everybody knew. When they lost, that's when people were like, oh, really? But then no one really cared. No one was watching. But you, everybody knew UConn was going to win from start to finish. Like, they had all the talent. So, like, her playing in, like, the big – I give Brianna Stewart a pass. She's in the WNBA, too. She's playing. She gets a pass. She said, I feel like you got to – All right, real quick, before we get to the video, I want to – we got to shout out the sponsor of today's video, Underdog. So, look, Underdog, the fancy sports app. You can do the fancy draft just like a regular fancy football draft. You do the fancy draft. You pick your players, and you can win money that way. Or my favorite, the pick them entry. You pick higher or lower on a player projected stat, and if you get them right, you win money. And if you pick up to five people and you get them all right, you get 20 times your money, man. You can really you can get, you can get the bag with this, man. So look, since I'm such a real one, use the code Blair. I'll hunt, so if you put in 100, I'll give you another 100 to play with. I want to see all of y'all winning, man. No excuses. Click the link in the description. But I'm going to let y'all get back to the video. In order to stamp yourself as a great, you got to win a chip. Jay Williams said it's crazy that they're both kind of crazy now that I think about it. They're both crazy. But Jay Williams sounded like he was hating, though. See, he was hating, though. That's what it sounded like. Cause no, no, no. Okay, this is why I give her a pass. The way the question was worded. She said one of the greats, even though she is one of the greats strictly off stats, just her not winning the chip. She's like, in order to stem yourself as one of the greats, like the GOATs of women's college basketball, you got to win a chip. Jay Williams said, and I don't think she's great, period. Like, she, she doesn't think she's great at all. They asked her one of the best of all, best of all time. It's a little different, especially Brandon Stewart thinks it's her. I'm sure she thinks I'm one of the greats. That was a good pass. That boy having a 30, 13, and 5. Look at that. He would have turned the MVP and didn't win. That's literally Caitlin Clark. Back to back title games lost both. Pistol Pete. Pistol Pete was averaging 44. Nah, ain't nobody ain't nobody messing with Pistol Pete in college basketball. I don't care what nobody say. What nobody messing with no Pistol Pete in LSU. In college basketball? Boy averaging 44. 44, 6, and 5. Yeah, ain't nobody touching Pistol Pete.
was insane. Insane. That's crazy. That's what I'm saying. That's crazy. Steph was different. Look at that. Splash. <laughs> Kayla was different, but that was good defense. She got all the – don't get mad at me because everybody loves me and they not loving you. You get mad at me because I get more views than you've gotten all year. Don't hate on me. That really is. WNBA finna push Caitlin Clark like crazy. She finna be in so many commercials. She gonna be the face of the league if they do it right. Yeah, but they was hating on that car. They hit. Ah, they mad. <laughs> they mad. Ooh, they sick. Them UConn alumni is sick. Oh, the foul. She was head hunting. Did like this. Come on now. Yeah, you gotta like if you're gonna have a show on there, you gotta be unbiased. You could be a little biased, but you can't. That hate was bleeding through, though. That's that Floyd. That's that Floyd Mayweather effect. They would buy in the fight just to see, hope and see Floyd lose. Now Floyd won every fight. That man Floyd embraced the hate because you know what? He was getting paid. He said, y'all still go pay me, though. They should be happy. They literally should be. WNBA players should be thanking Caitlin Clark that she was balling like this because now more people going to watch the WNBA. You know what that means? And more people watch the WNBA, you're going to get a higher pay. So that way y'all can stop complaining about the NBA is getting all this pay and that the, uh, the WNBA players, we barely getting, we're barely making money. We should be getting paid like the men. Kaylin Clark finna get y'all paid like the men, but y'all over here hating before she even get in the league. Y'all should be treating her. Yeah, she gonna be, she's the next Steph Curry, she's the next Jordan. If I'm the WNBA, I'm promoting her like she's the next, like the GOAT now. That's what I'm saying. You got Kaylin Clark. She finna put the league. She finna take the league to a new level. Yeah, it's almost done. Let me, let me see who video this is so I can give him a shout out. Uncut Hoops. Shout out to Uncut Hoops. Look, man. They should all thank Kaylin Clark because Kaylin Clark might get them all paid. Might literally get all the WNBA players a pay raise. Like, oh, we just got a raise. What's going on? Kaitlyn Clark joined the league. That's what happened. 
And look, you got Kaitlyn Clark. She took over college basketball for for women's right. She taking the fan base, us that were watching, like yeah, she's she's legit. She's the next one. She's the goat. We're all gonna be watching the WNBA now since the NBA gonna be done by the time WNBA is starting, right? Once Kaitlyn Clark playing, she got our eyes. There's someone else in women's college basketball doing what Kaitlyn Clark did, Juju. And then once Juju make it, y'all going to be lit. I don't understand the problem. Y'all need to stop hating because Kaitlyn finna get y'all some money. Y'all won't have to play overseas once Kaitlyn get in the league. If y'all promote it right, y'all won't have to do that no more. Y'all can just play y'all season. They might even let y'all extend a couple games or so. But look, man, that's it for the video. Make sure you like, comment, share, hit the subscribe button. Click the link in the description. Use the promo code Blair. Until Magic Potter turns your dollars. I'll catch you on the next one. Till then, I'm out. Peace.